but hey guys it's Katie so I've been busy preparing for my craft fair and stuff so I figured I would upload some DIYs that kind of have to do with preparing for a craft fair things like displays and stuff if you guys are curious about those things my cat just walked in but yeah so today's tutorial is going to be how to create a banner for your booth um, this is the first time I've actually created a banner, but I figure it's a good way to kind of brand yourself and draw people's attention because, you know, you just have this giant banner on top of your booth that'll be like, this is my name, this is who I am. So I just kind of threw one together instead of like ordering one. I thought this might be a little bit cheaper. Um, I'll have everything that I purchased linked in the down bar if you guys want to purchase those as well. I bought everything from Michael's, um, but I'm sure you can find them at any craft store. Uh... Yeah, but it's pretty simple to make. Um, you can make this as complicated or as simple as you want. I went with a more simple approach just so it's not too busy. But um, yeah, that's about it. So let's jump on into this tutorial, guys. These are the materials I'll be using. They will all be linked in the description box if you guys want to purchase the same things I purchased. But we're going to jump right in. Um, so I'm starting out with my canvas material that I bought. And I'm just opening it up. And I found that it was a little too wide for my liking, so I did end up cutting it in half. Um, it's still the same length. It's about 1.5 yards, but then it was a little too long for me, so I'm just cutting that in half. I can use the other half for something else. So I'm taking my fabric and I'm just ironing it because it is a little bit uh, wrinkled and folded from being in the packaging. So I'm just pressing out those seams as best I could, just so it's not all funny for stenciling. But now I found the center point of my fabric, and I'm laying out my stencils starting from the middle and working my way out, just so everything's even and centered. And then I'm just taking a pencil and I'm marking where my stencils go, just because I only had uh, one of each letter, so we had to do some moving around and stuff. Now I'm just starting with the center and working my way out. So I place my stencil and I'm just taking a sponge brush and my fabric paint and I'm just dabbing it down. Uh, be very light with your paint. I wasn't, I was kind of heavy with my paint and I did have some bleeding like through the stencil. So if you do not want that, just make sure you don't wet your brush too much. Don't saturate the paint a lot and you shouldn't have that issue. Just, you know, be very careful and also find a way to adhere your stencils better. You know, make sure you hold them down really good and you shouldn't have any bleeding or anything. It'll take a little bit longer to paint, but it'll look better in the long run. So now I'm peeling off this O because I need to reuse it for another letter O next to it. So I'm just carefully peeling that off. It had a little bit of time to dry while I was doing the K, and then I'm just placing it down next to my other O where I put the pencil marks earlier. That way it's, everything's lined up and centered and straight. So then I just repeated the same process with my word on the bottom. And now while those were all drying, I started sketching out the word and in the center because I wanted it to be like pretty in cursive, but I kind of fail at freehanding large things, especially on fabric. So I did my best, um, but I marked it out with pencil and then I went ahead with the paint and a paintbrush and just followed those pencil, pencil lines. I tried to be as precise as possible just so it wasn't all like messy looking. I mean, it turned out all right. Not the best, but... It'll do. It gives it kind of like a rustic handmade look, so that's great. So now once everything's dried, I went ahead and I just peeled off the stencils. It's not that dry. I just finished the word and and I'm peeling them off. You don't want it to be completely dry or the stencils might stick. And then you'll have fun ripping that off. <laughs> so 
But yeah, as you can see, I did have some bleeding happen with the paint through the stencil. So, I mean, kind of sucks, but it's whatever. Gives it a more handmade feel, you know? And from a distance, it's like kind of harder to tell anyway. So I let this dry overnight, and then I went ahead and I'm going to be doing my grommets now. So I paste, placed my grommet down, and I'm going to take a pen and just trace the inside circle of it so I can cut a hole in the fabric. So I just pinched it, grabbed my scissors, made a little slit, and then I worked on just cutting that little circle as best I could. And then I flipped my fabric around so that the right side's facing down. And I'm going to take this piece with the long ends and I'm going to place that underneath through the hole. And then I'm going to take my other grommet piece which has the spikes on it and you're just going to place that over the tube on the back side of your fabric. Should look like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my grommet tool. So you're going to have this piece that has like a little divot on the top and you're going to place it underneath onto the uh, grommet side. And then you're going to go ahead and grab your other piece of your tool and place it inside the tube on top. And now you're going to want to grab a hammer and just bang the top of that so that your grommet closes up. So once that all is all done, you can remove the tool and you should have a grommet in your fabric. So I'm just cutting up some string and I'm going to lace this through the grommets that I just made and this will be so you can tie the sign to your table or wherever you're going to be putting it. And this is what it should look like when you're all finished. Okay, so that is all for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned a few things. Um, I just kind of tried this out, but I think it turned out pretty good. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to put this onto my booth in two weeks when I have my craft fair. I'll be sure to give you guys some more kind of DIY ideas and things when the time comes. Um, I'm going to be starting to work on displays soon, so I'll definitely show you guys that. Um, definitely I'll show you guys how to like set up different displays and stuff. And I, I know that I know like setting up displays and stuff is something I've been curious about and like I can't really find any good videos on the internet so I thought I would make one for you guys so you guys can all figure it out and I can help some people out. Um, but yeah, so I'm definitely kind of like thinking of display ideas for my crochet items. If you guys have any ideas, be sure to share them with me. Um, but yeah, that's about it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Think I can fly, think I can fly when I'm with you, my arms are wide.